Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we'll be talking about the Detroit Pistons. Adrian Wojnarowski broke that longtime University of Connecticut, former national championship head coach, and recently overtime elite director of coaching and player personnel, Kevin Ollie, will interview with the Detroit Pistons for their coaching job. As you guys know, I've mentioned I'm a huge Kevin Ollie fan because I just remember, you know, being like 12 years old watching the 2011 was it when they won or maybe it was like 13 or 14 it was in 2013 14 whatever i remember when he was there and it was awesome i really i really loved kevin ollie we're also hearing charles lee the lead assistant who replaced darwin ham as the lead assistant for the bucks is a serious candidate those are two serious candidates for them we know they're interested in emma udoka and nick nurse nick nurse if he does become available emma udoka if he's interested but when I sit here, I mean, I know Charles Lee is a is a is a good coach. I know he's an offensive mastermind, but he was also named one of the top 40 coaching assistants under the age of 40. So he was somebody that a lot of people are excited for and see that has a lot of potential. While for me, I do like Kevin Ollie. I do like everything he stands for. But what gets me weirded out is why was Kevin Ollie blackballed by the NCAA just for some petty recruiting infractions? Why did no other teams, you know, hire him as a head coach? Was that a personal choice or was he blackballed? Same thing from the NBA. You'd think somebody would want him as an assistant coach, but he wasn't. The job he got was overtime elite. And I'm not going to sit here and be like the overtime elite has been a success. So I think it does bring some weird questions into into frame and for me i, w- I want to hear your guys' thoughts what do you what do you guys think of this whole entire situation i definitely think it's an interesting one i know we've heard a bunch of coaching candidates i mean honestly if we we're going for a former college coach i'd go jay wright over kevin ollie because jay wright had a program that you know his players came in ready for success but yeah i think it's definitely ooh, almost went off the road right there. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I think it's definitely an interesting situation because I don't know who's the right coach. Uh, What would you guys do if you were the Detroit Pistons and why? I think it's definitely an unforeseen situation, not one that most people are typically, you know, aware of what needs to be done. But I do believe that this could be a situation that could be very beneficial and I think Kevin Ollie would be a good guy to coach him up. I personally think you either go for a Charles Lee if you think you want to take that jump and you want to like have that new young team, or if you want something proven, I guess you go Kevin Ollie. I just I have a gripe of former college coaches coaching in the NBA because it necessarily doesn't ever work out. But you know, I could be wrong and. Kevin Ollie's the next things, the next best things in sliced bread, and I don't know. I, I definitely think it. You know, the jury's out. We'll see what will be done. Um, I want to know: Is there anything you guys would have liked to have heard? Let me know. I am gonna head out, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz. But basically, that's it for me today, guys. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. I'm working right now, so I had to record this in the car. So hopefully the audio is good. But hit that like and subscribe button. I love you.